As South by Southwest 2011 draws to a close, festival goers can be assured that planning for next year is already underway. For Bobcat Update, I'm Louise Armstrong. Zombie players wear the bandanas on their head or legs, while human players wear the bandanas on their arms. If a zombie tags a human, the human then starts playing for the zombie side. Get ready for the next generation of the iPad. Apple's CEO Steve Jobs, who has been out on medical leave, made a surprise appearance at the company's media event today to introduce the iPad 2. Thousands flocked to the Austin Convention Center during spring break to attend the 10-day South by Southwest Festival. The interactive film and music event featured informative panels on media and technology, as well as film premieres and music shows. Many famous faces made their way to town to promote their new films, some which were shot in the city. Director Aaron Burns says Austin is quickly becoming one of the best locations to shoot films. Oh, I mean, an awesome location. People are super excited to be here. You know, it's a mellow vibe. There's no stress. You go hang out at the lake on your off days, and, and you shoot a movie the rest of the time. However, not all events required a paid badge or wristband. Many shows were free and open to the public, causing the city to flood with people later in the week. Hotels in Austin had no rooms available during the festival, and parking problems plagued many. Despite the crowds and lines, junior Sonia Inescu says she believes South by Southwest is an event everyone should experience at least once. It's really like going to see the pyramids in Egypt because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to check out really good bands. As South by Southwest 2011 draws to a close, festival goers can be assured that planning for next year is already underway. For Bobcat Update, I'm Louise Armstrong. Last week, the Extreme Sports Club brought the Human vs. Zombie game to campus. Popular on hundreds of other college campuses, this is the first time it's been played at Texas State. Students wearing bandanas and carrying Nerf guns represented players, and while gameplay was restricted during the day, at night it came to life. Zombie players wear the bandanas on their head or legs, while human players wear the bandanas on their arms. If a zombie tags a human, the human then starts playing for the zombie side. The ratio of humans to zombies is tracked through the official Texas State page on hvzsource.com. Sophomore Ryan Elliott creates the missions for each team. Elliott says a number of endings were possible for the game. Um, the game has two possible endings. Uh, zombies have to feed every two days or tag a human. So if the zombies die out, then the humans win. Or if all humans get tagged, then the zombies win. Each night, missions are assigned and meeting places are scheduled. If one side completes its mission first, the other side is penalized. Freshman Trevor Smitherman says he started the game as an original zombie. Everyone else you see on, you see you go on the little player list and it shows them as when they got converted and mine just says OZ and it's kind of cool to be able to say that. Players immerse themselves in the game, taking refuge in dining halls which are designated safe zones. However, freshman Cole Burris says he's been targeted on the way to class. I ran into a zombie trying to get to class today. He snuck up behind me, but some, some random per person just yelled at me and said, you've got a zombie behind you, so I turned around. And... After a week of playing, it was announced that the zombie side proved victorious. Humans vs. Zombie game may be over this year, but Elliot and his players hope that this will become a yearly Elliot tradition at Texas State. Funding. For Bobcat Update, I'm Louise Armstrong. Texas State University's Technology Resources is introducing a new student information system. Valerie Soya describes the system in this Bobcat Update. Lindsay Lohan is out of jail for now, and on Tuesday she appeared on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Today it was 80 degrees in El Paso, 81 in Brownsville, which is not surprising as it's usually warmer there. In central Texas, 73 degrees in Austin.